Let's look at the 10 ways you can collect user feedback with UserSnap. So you can have all your feature requests, the recent issues, the highlights from your customer support and sales, as well as the in-product microservice results, all in one place for you to slice and dice for what you need to plan a bulletproof roadmap. First up is the feedback menu. You can have your feedback button open up a feedback menu like this, which can link to your feedback widgets from UserSnap or your support messenger or other pages to collect user feedback. You can customize your feedback menu like this, including also different styles of the button. Next is the powerful screen capturing widgets, which can be connected to the feedback menu or as an individual widget, and it allows your users to capture a screenshot and highlight on the screenshot directly to have a visual conversation with you, and they can even record their screen so all of their experience on the website can be captured and they can turn on a microphone to speak directly to you. You can customize the design of the feedback widget to start from a screenshot mode or have it as optional so your users can choose to launch the screenshot mode or the screen recording mode. Running user research versus reactively listening to user feedback is quite different, but with UserSnap, you can have the same platform to collect all those user insights. You can build your pop-up microservice like this, then choose your targeting audience for your specific user project to reach a meaningful audience. For a seamless user experience, you can embed the feedback rating widget or the entire widget form into your website. Here's an example on our website for people to immediately be able to interact with the rating widgets. You may have many users requesting for the same thing, and it makes sense to use the user snap board to collect upvotes. Your users have to log in and give their email for you to be able to see which upload is connected to which email and which user. You will be able to customize the board to your brand's design. Or you can publish your feedback project as a standalone feedback page. So you can share this link of the page to anywhere you want, including your social media feed, emails, and messenger apps. An even better solution for collecting user feedback in your emails is to embed the first question directly in your email. You can do so with your email automation designer by copying and pasting the code from UserSnap to your email designer tool. And it will look something like this. You can have the rating already in the email for people to react on. And it will open a standalone page to open up the survey link. UserSnap offers a mobile SDK for you to easily implement feedback forms in your mobile applications. Users can send ratings as well as attachments of screenshots and video recording files. If you hear interesting feedback from a conversation or saw a noteworthy feedback in your emails, you can always add that to UserSnap through your project dashboard directly. Here is a feedback button, which opens up the same questions on your feedback widget as well as the attachment field. So you can include any screenshots and multiple screenshots if needed, as well as video files. So this helps you to really centralize everything in one place. Another good way to streamline feedback from different online sources is the browser extension. If you're using Chrome or Firefox, then you can download it and install it to launch it from any web page. Here is an example. So when you launch the browser extension, you can select the project and then the widget will open up for you to annotate, for you to write a feedback and for you to submit it. And there you have the 10 ways to scale user insights for you to build a truly user-centric product development process.